One of the things that I just remember, I, 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 the thing that I do remember very vividly uh, are the lights. When we would come out at Mid-South Coliseum, they played the FedEx Forum now, but we played in the Mid-South Coliseum. I mean, it was a perfect uh, place, held about 12,000 people, and uh, uh, more than half of those would be students. And uh, it was just like uh, playing basketball with my brother in our, in our backyard. And I remember coming out, and no matter what else was on my mind, once those lights hit me, once I come out of the locker room, uh, man, it was on. It was just time to, you know, time to play and, 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 and uh, enjoy yourself. Coming out of school, I had other places I could have gone and played, but I am just so happy that I chose this place. Even though Memphis um, took 40 years to do it, <laughs> because they had this rule that because I've only went to school here one year, that you had to go two years at least and and graduate or something. But um, uh, I'm just happy. I mean, I didn't think I would be this emotional about that happening for me, but after 40 years, yeah, I feel good. Uh, when I left Memphis, I was drafted by uh, the New York Nets. And I had a teammate of mine that I played with for two years by the name of Julius Irving, uh, Dr. J, uh, which was, you know, was just exciting every night. Um, he and I put on a lot of good performances, I'm sure. Uh, after I left New York, I was, went to San Antonio, where, I make, where me and my wife uh, make our home at right now today and I played with a fellow uh, down there by the name of George Gerber. And my fond continued with him and, and uh, you know, had great success with those guys. And then I went to Chicago and I, that's where I ended my career. But I, I, I mean, it, it's, uh, it all started for me here though, here, here in Memphis. Though. But I played on a lot of basketball teams uh, before, but this team really cared about each other as individuals. And that's what I really take away from that year of 1973 with Memphis State basketball.